there's a dif- difference of opinion about Sifrei Chochmot, books from which we learn Chochmah. Is it Mutter, right? You know, Shidrecha, Shidre, uh, uh, Sefer Chochmot, or does it, is it subsumed under this general problem? If I read this kind of book, I'm going to read that kind of book. If I'm going to read Sefer Chochmot, I'll end up reading other things as uh, well. So, it's not clear to us what the limits of Sifrei Chochmot books of wisdom are. Certainly, they would include natural sciences, engineering, and medicine. Because these are certainly agreed upon by the Rishonim in different places, that they are included, the, those three topics are included in, um, in Chochmah. But other things may not be. Other things may not be. The Mishta Brewer says that the Minhag Lahakel, that customarily we are the Minhag, the custom is to be lenient in this manner. So if somebody says, look, I want to read uh, my uh, textbook on, on biology, then it seems that that's not included in Shidrei. I don't think that if you read biology, you're going to go and, and end up reading other things that you shouldn't be reading. However, the Mishnah Brewer here is not something that he does uh, in many cases. He said that uh, but someone who, who takes things very seriously and is willing to, um, is willing to uh, take the extra step in favor of the halacha should not read Sefer Chachmot, should not even read books of Chachmot. So that even though it's not so obvious that if you study Chochmah, uh, again, medicine, science, engineering, if you study Chochmah, that you'll end up reading Shidrei Hed Yotot, that you'll be reading documents that the Chachamim said we should not read. Nevertheless, the Mishnah Bura feels that if you can avoid it, that would, of course, be a good idea. He says, uh, furthermore, if you have to study on Shabbos, for a test that you're taking during the week, if the test is going to be a test in a Kodesh subject, one of the Kodesh subjects like Tanakh or Halakha, uh, then you're allowed to use that. You're allowed to read the, the material, to study the material, even though it might inadvertently, you would think it might inadvertently lead you to reading other kinds of material as well. Nevertheless, the post have determined that if you eat, if you study Limude Kodesh for an exam, that doesn't come under the category of Shitre Ed Yotod. We don't worry that he will end up reading Shitre Ed Yotod.